Hi guys, it's Sunday evening, which is when I put the bins out for the refuse collection on Monday morning. And when I was putting the bins out, I noticed this package somebody has helpfully left outside in the street. Lost Mary, 7,000 puffs. And I thought, well, I haven't seen one of them. They didn't leave one behind, just the empty packaging. But I thought, that's completely different to all the Lost Marys that I've been picking up over the years. So I thought I'd do a little video just to go through my stock of Lost Marys that I haven't actually stripped down. Um, they did leave the instructions, so I will scan them in anyway. Just for your delectation. Clearly this, um, this version of the Lost Mary is completely different to the ones that used to be laying around all the time. 18,000, sorry, 1800 milliamp power battery. That's significantly bigger than the ones I've got. When I say I've got, I don't actually use vapes, but I did go through a period of picking them up in the street. Don't see many of them around nowadays. Scan QR code for video instructions. Hmm. I thought that said refillable poo kit, but it's pod kit. Yeah, okay. Well, that can go in the bin. That can go in the bin. That's the case that it came in. And here are the Lost Mary vapes that I've picked up in the streets over the years. Don't see many around nowadays. Very few. But I thought I'd just run through these, pull them apart. and uh, collect the batteries. I have done videos doing this before, so I don't really need to video doing this. But that's your sensor that detects when you're sucking. And they've got a little surface mount LED there that I usually turns blue. That's the vape liquid in that plastic container there with a bit of foam inside. And then that's the battery. This one is a 13400, which means it's 13 millimeters diameter, 40 millimeters long, and the zero at the end indicates it's actually a cylinder. If it was a flat um, battery, flat as in flat shaped, rectangular, then instead of being a zero at the end, there'd be two digits, which would give you, I think the way it goes is width, depth, and length. I can't quite remember something like that, or it might be the other way around. It might be width, length, and yeah, depth. One of them's in, should have a decimal point in the middle of it, but it doesn't have it. So it says something like 25. It's 2.5 millimeters thick. Anyway, what I would normally do is cut these off. I do have a use for the sensors. I'd <laughs> Although I've got probably, well, certainly dozens of them, if not hundreds of them. Uh, they act as a little 10 second timer. When you trigger them, they run for about 10 seconds and then, well, when I say run, they send current down these wires to the heater that's in there to heat up your um, liquid. And it runs for 10 seconds. So if you've got something that you want a 10 second timer for, you can use these. I did do a model aeroplane with them. 
Anyway, the rest of this is going to go in the bin. I think what I'll do is I'll do this and I'll fast forward the video, sort of time lapse style. I'll put that there. Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty. Uh, maybe thirty. And I've just realised, having done all that, I didn't put my gloves on. So I'll go and wash my hands now. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave us a comment so I know I'm doing and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists, thanks again.